We've seen this next feature demonstrated many times and we've used it even many more. And it might be one of the most commonly used features in AutoCAD to aid someone in drafting. I'm talking about the ortho feature. Ortho makes sure that you draw something or move something orthogonally or set at a 90 degree angle. To toggle it on or off, press the F8 key or click right down here on the status bar. With the ortho command on, your cursor movements are constrained to a horizontal or vertical movement based on your user coordinate system. That means you will draw lines or move objects again in a straight horizontal or vertical motion. If you take a look at your UCS icon, which is the X and the Y icon right down here on the bottom left hand of my screen, the orthogonal movements are about those axes. So perfectly horizontal for the X, perfectly vertical for the Y. If I draw a line, it's only going to go horizontal or vertical. That's it. I can't draw a line at a 45 degree angle unless I type it in. There you go. So ortho will help you draw straight up and down, straight left and right, or it will help you to only move in those directions. So I can only copy this circle or move this circle horizontally left, right, or vertically up and down. See, wherever I put my mouse, those are the only options I have. Now, if I rotate the UCS, see, I can't rotate them in any other way right now unless I turn off the ortho. Now I can rotate them. And they match my crosshairs, so that's another way to know. If I turn it back on, and I draw lines, it follows my X and Y axes. So it will follow those orthogonal projections of the X and the Y axis. Now what I'm about to show you, you can't do in AutoCAD LT because it doesn't have 3D functionality. But if I rotate my axes here, or my view, and I turn on, ortho, I can also draw in the z-axis. So you have x, y, and z. That's the only way you're going to draw. That's what ortho does for you.